to express, nor do I think there are sufficient words in the English language to express the outrage, the shock, the disgust, the contempt for what has gone down in my state. The people of Colorado have shame to bear. This is horrible that this could happen. We have taken a giant leap back in time. The sheriff was, yes, he was an elected official. He served with honors and distinction. He was sheriff of the year. He risked his life to save a couple of his deputies. He championed um, the campaign to keep drugs away from youth. And then this happens. This wasn't the first time he was doing this. This has gone on for years. How many years? Nobody really knows. But to give him a 30-day sentence, to have him plead out to a misdemeanor, to the least serious felony available, this is a joke. This is cartoon justice. Yeah. And Judge Karen Mills Francis, why? When the guy who allegedly supplied him with meth got three years. <laughs> Exactly. This is wrong on so many levels, Jane. This man was elected to protect and serve. The problem I have with this is that this wasn't a big town. That's this wasn't quiet, Denver. This is some tiny little town, and this man was doing this over and over and over again. I have to believe that somebody knew what was going on there. Let me the statute of limitations in that state. Uh, it depends on what he's charged with. Um, some crimes have a statute of limitations that doesn't expire. And you see a lot of people come forth when they've been abused as children 20 years later, and the person can still be charged. I, I, th there's something fundamentally really wrong with how this case was handled. I mean, you look at the decisions that were made even when they decided to prosecute him. Um, they hired a assistant attorney general to prosecute. Why didn't they bring in somebody with 30 years of criminal prosecutorial experience? They don't. The judge that hears the case is a, the chief judge of Arapaho, and he sits on the bench for juvenile issues and adoption issues. He's not in there listening to you know, criminal issues and criminal cases day after day. Uh, the the uh, assistant attorney general feels good about what happens and feels that the 30-day sentence was just. This is it's like being in a loony bin. Let's go to John Lieberman, investigative reporter, weigh in. First of all, this case is far from over. This particular part of it is over, but you're going to see more and more investigations. And let me just say something. Yes, the 38 days feels outrageous, but keep this in mind. Police believe this guy was a master manipulator, that he scared the informants. So when police get and cultivate undercover informants, sometimes you only have one shot at that video that you're looking at right there. You only have one shot to get the cameras up. They didn't know what they were going to get there, so they took their shot, they got what they got, and... We it's unfolded. Are you wondering why this didn't come on the radar of law enforcement before Jonathan did all this undercover work? Absolutely. It's been something that's been brewing for a long time. This didn't just happen. His uh, criminal activity probably began when he was sheriff because one of his original... Well, uh, listen, we, we don't want to jump... Let me just jump in. We don't want to jump to any conclusions. We, I have no knowledge of that. I've never met this man. Let, well, let's try to stick with the facts. And that's what, I'm, that's I'm what I've wondering. heard, though. Okay, that, that's ahead. what I've heard. That, well, um, but that's he, heard, heard, that could be gossip and rumor and innuendo. That's, we don't, I don't think okay, I haven't independently verified it. Because